the heart of the Sleeve Blue Mountains consists of sedimentary rocks, sandstones, siltstones and mudstones that accumulated out in the deep ocean in the middle of the Silurian period of Earth history about 425 million years ago and were later heaved up during the collision between two of the Earth's crustal plates to form a great range of mountains which were then subject to a period of erosion that lasted for tens of millions of years until by the end of the Devonian they had been worn down almost to their roots. Great rivers then flowed across the flat landscape that resulted from the wearing away of these Devonian mountains. And in these rivers, sediments accumulated, as they do in rivers today. Sandbars and gravel in the channel of the river, and away from the river channel, out in the floodplain, uh, mud and silt at times when the river overflowed its banks. And that's what these are. These are the frozen sands and gravels of a great river that flowed across Offaly 350 million years ago when our part of the Earth's crust lay much further to the south, south of the equator in fact, approximately where Tanzania is today. And these red rocks, these are mud and silt that was deposited on the flood plain away from the river channel at times when the river was in flood. You can see this it's really just hardened mud and the red colour is due to the oxidation of the iron that was in the sediments because of the, the warm climate under which they were deposited. Diagonal layers can often be seen within the beds of sandstone. This is because the layers of sand in a sandbar are deposited one after another on the sloping front of the bar and measuring their angle of repose can help us to work out the direction in which the ancient river was flowing at this point. The alternating sequences of river channel sand and gravel and red overbank silts and muds that is so characteristic of the old red sandstone as these Devonian rocks are called are interrupted very occasionally by intervals of grey mud rock. These originated in stagnant river backwaters and are important because they contain the fossil spores and plant fragments that enable us to reconstruct the forests that grew around the rivers at this time, which were dominated by trees and other plants very strange to our eyes because none of them were flowering plants. And the animal life in this forest is strange too because there are as yet no birds, mammals or reptiles on the earth. There are insects like mayflies and cockroaches, but no moths or butterflies, hoverflies or bees. The cultural heritage fabric of each part of Offaly is profoundly influenced by its geological character. Nowhere is this more evident than in Sleeve Bloom, where almost all the buildings, as well as the walls that divide the landscape into fields, were traditionally made of old red sandstone. The old red sandstone was extensively used in the 19th century for flagging, but at its best is a very fine building stone and was occasionally used for more imposing structures. It is the stone used in the building of Ballyfin House, for instance, for the pillars at the entrance to Singfield House, seen here, and for the Cumberland Monument in Emmet Square in Burr, erected in 1747.